They nitpick little problems like sissies rather than seeing the vast amount of good that God has blessed them with. I don't care if my church is small, and I don't care if I can't speak well, and I don't care if this member messed up here and there. God has been too good to this church, so I can hardly give it a complaint. But sissies, they nitpick little problems. No one say hi to me. The room doesn't look that good. The church is too small. The scene is not that great. The preaching is too rough. No one help me today. The church has no air conditioning. The church has no heater. The chairs have no cushion on my cushion. The pastor is too mean. No one shook my hand. Pastor so-and-so said this to me. Pastor's wife so-and-so said that to me. Deacon so-and-so said this to me. Deacon's wife so-and-so said that to me. Brother so-and-so said this to me. Sister so-and-so said that to me. The members are too old. The members are too young. The members are too big. The members are too small. The members are too fat. The members are too skinny. The members are too pretty. The members are too ugly. The members are very ugly. The members are downright ugly. The pulpit should be pink. The chair should be pink. The offering plate should be pink. The bathroom should be pink. The toilet should be pink. The toilet paper should be pink. The toilet brush should be pink. The pastor should be pink. Jesus should be pink. You should be pink. I should be pink. Hey, shut your mouth, you little sissy. Come on. That's why we come here. You might say, well, well, I don't think Joel Osteen appreciates what you say. Okay, you can tell Mr. Joel Osteen that I said so, and that includes his mama, his grandma, his Come grandma, on. and his pet dog Poodle too. You can tell them that I said that. 